Hey guys, it's Lisa, and today we're going to talk about some of the beauty benefits of the carnivore diet. Those of you that haven't been here or maybe just stumbling upon my channel, I have been strict carnivore for almost three years. May will be three years. My intentions weren't to be carnivore. I was just trying to find something I could eat that would not upset my gut. After going to many, many specialists, having ultrasounds, having testing, being put on different medications, I discovered the FODMAP diet. And that was kind of the gateway into me realizing that there could be some foods out there that are so-called healthy that could be upsetting my gut. Then, when I was talking to you guys on my YouTube channel, several of you had mentioned that your spouse had the same issue and that you had had the same issue and that you went to eating all meat. And I'll have to say, the first time I heard it, I thought, and this is coming from me, who I have always eaten meat. I've always loved steak, chicken. I love all meat. So it's not even that I had any you know, bad feelings about meat, but just when I thought about just eating meat, it kind of, I'll admit, kind of was weird and kind of gross. But then I decided to just give it a try. I wanted to do some type of elimination diet. I started eating the meat and then I tried to add one thing in at a time. Now I have lots of videos that were during these times. Luckily, I love it because a lot of things I have forgotten. I have felt so good now, I forgot some of the things that were bothering me. So that's why I like to share these things with you. Now, when I get prepared for these videos, it makes me nervous and you'll probably be able to tell because I'm not a doctor. I'm not a nutritionist. I'm not even a carnivore specialist or enthusiast. I'm just someone who ended up eating this way and it changed my life. It improved my life so drastically that I like to share these things. I don't think a day goes by that I don't get asked about my hair, my hair growth, and my wearing extensions. How do I get it to grow so fast? How do I get it to grow so long? Just this morning, I had someone ask me about my hair and I decided I wanted to focus on hair, skin, and nails. So this morning, I was kind of reading about different things and why the carnivore diet helps with these issues. Then to kind of backtrack a little bit and make sure that my reading and my views weren't kind of um, skewed, I went and looked up reasons for hair loss, reasons for acne, foods that can help with hair loss, foods that can help with acne, foods that can help with skin elasticity, all these things, and everything, everything leads back to inflammation, vitamin D, cholesterol, fatty acids, all of these things that you either need or do not need in your diet. That's something that I really want to focus on is it's not only about what you're eating, it's about what you're not eating. I do not drink any alcohol at all. I never really was a drinker, but maybe if I met my girlfriends out or if John and I went out, not even with the kids, but if we went out by ourselves or with another couple, sometimes I would get like a strawberry margarita, something like that, but I've never been a drinker. So for me, it was easy just to quit cold turkey. I don't need it. Another thing that I don't do of course, on this diet is I don't eat any sugar. The only thing that can be remotely considered sugar would be I do drink Diet Coke. And if that astounds you, I will put a little video up here on all of the carnivore rules that I break. Again, because I did not set out to be a carnivore. I didn't set out to make carnivore videos. Just it happened and I can't help but to share it. And the beauty is you've been here with me the whole way. And even if you're just discovering my channel, you can go back a couple of years and watch my videos, watch what I was going through, hear me talk about things as they are happening. Sometimes I get nervous talking about these things because the first thing people want to do is to discredit you, chop you down, question your motives. And I feel like, I mean, proof is in the pudding with me. I 
I, everything I say, it just can't be denied because you guys have seen it. The only thing that I think people still doubt is that I still have extensions and I don't know how I can express to you that I don't. I almost hate it because when I want to compare my hair now to before carnivore, it's hard for me because I was wearing tape-in extensions. Okay, so let's start with your hair. Your hair needs protein. If you look up on YouTube, look up the doctors, look up on your websites, I don't want you to just believe me, look up the best source of protein. Now, there are gonna be people out there saying, well, I drink protein shakes. I find my protein in soy. Well, the important thing to do is look at the other side effects of those proteins. Soy can disrupt your hormones, beans and legumes and nuts. Those can have oxalates and lectins that can block your like receptors and make it where the good things that you're eating aren't even able to be accepted and processed by your body. So make sure that the protein that you are eating or drinking is something that's not having other adverse side effects, just like medications and other things that are prescribed by your doctor when they just focus on the problem, but they're not focusing on what caused the problem or the side effects of curing that one little, not even problem, but symptom. Now, I just had my blood work done in December, the end of December, and I am going to be putting that right in here. And one thing that you'll notice is that I have high cholesterol. Now to understand cholesterol, I think you need probably to listen to someone besides me. You could probably watch Dr. Berg or Dr. Barry or many other doctors talk about the fact that we need cholesterol. Women especially, we need cholesterol so that the other parts of our body that are supposed to be stepping in and handling our hormones when we go through menopause, which then affects our skin, it affects our hair, it affects our nails, everything is connected. That's what I discovered. Every time I read about something, it fed right into the other. So it's just about getting the good cholesterol. Many, much of your body is made of cholesterol. And I know like as we're watching the news, as we're growing up, all we hear about is cholesterol levels and your good cholesterol, your bad cholesterol. So I have done a video that I will put up here that explains a little bit about your cholesterol. And what's gonna happen is you're probably going to face a lot of, I hate to say backlash, but maybe even resistance from your doctor. Luckily, I don't know how I got this lucky, but my doctor was very receptive. He had seen the improvement in my life and we tested my, we did my blood work every four months for at least one year, if not more. And he said, even if my cholesterol was elevated, as long as my calcium score was good, he was not gonna worry. He has even asked me, am I sharing this on my channel? He's just been so very impressed. So I have actually been a good example for him because I've opened his mind to a different way of eating, a different way to solve problems like my I used to have a really bad hip joint pain and he himself was giving me the prednisone shots that would wear off in a couple of months and that's completely gone away. I mean, I could just go on and on about the issues that I was going through that I no longer deal with and to be honest with you, I don't even, I feel bad because sometimes I think I take it for granted. When I'm doing videos like this, it rem makes me remember my thinning hair. It makes me remember my chest that was constantly broken out. I couldn't, I mean, I could barely do like this across my chest without it breaking out and being red. I don't know if you guys remember that. I was having to find special body creams so that it wouldn't break out. I was just having scalp issues like um, psoriasis, just issue after issue that is absolutely no more. In fact, 
I have not even been sick. I have not had allergies. I have not had one single thing wrong with me except for COVID. After I went to the style convention, I flew both ways, of course, and was with, you know, a couple hundred women sitting side by side. I did get COVID, and I'll be honest with you, it surprised me, but that is the only time I have even had a sniffle in almost three years. I don't need to be convinced, and I really am not even upset to be criticized when it comes to this because I feel like... It's undeniable. It's undeniable. I'm healthy. I'm happy. I'm clear headed. I'm rested. Everything about my life has changed, including my hair and my skin. So, what do we need? We need protein. We also need vitamin D. That is another thing that I feel like society has just put out a hit on the sun and vitamin D. Your body needs it for almost everything. Vitamin D acts as a hormone. The more we villainize the sun and villainize these healthy things for our body, the sicker and sicker people are gonna be, then the more medications they get put on, then the more side effects they have from that. I, you know, I used to be on iron pills. My iron levels are great now. And it's just, it makes you want to share it with everyone, especially everyone you care about. I'm not someone who like pushes it on people, but I hear, I hear women my age talk about, oh, my doctor said I need to exercise X amount of hours. I need to eat more fruits and vegetables. I need to do this and I need to do that. And it's all of these things that, yeah, I'm not saying that fruits and vegetables aren't healthy, lots of sugar, in fruit and i do think that there are some things in vegetables that can cause you inflammation which is just like the mother of all sicknesses concerns and everything else i would say would be inflammation they might even be blocking the receptors that you need to accept the good things that you are eating so what i ask for you to do is just keep an open mind don't believe me. I'm just a woman sitting here on her sofa. I'm not a doctor, but what you can trust is my experience. And I don't think I'm any different than anyone else. The other day when I mentioned in my video, I think it was a fashion video because I was mentioning that denim dress. And I can vividly remember how good I felt that day. I just felt like a weight had been lifted off me, clouds out of my head. I was losing a little bit of weight at the time. I had some pep in my step. I wasn't tired. I just felt good. So I went back and I looked up the date of that picture, that photo, and then I went in my patient portal and I looked up the date that I went on HRT. And that day was before I started HRT. So I know for sure that I felt the good effects of the carnivore diet and a lot of relief from my menopause symptoms just from changing the way I eat. And you guys, I know it's not easy, but it is so simple. Oh, I need to go back and just watch some of my old videos, but I remember weeks into feeling better. I could not wait to share it with you guys. Every day, I couldn't wait to get dressed up. I took pictures and I was at the point where I didn't wanna take pictures of myself. I wasn't enthused about getting dressed. I wanted to wear the same black dress every day. So I know how it feels. I've been there and I know that this is something that is worth a try. So that's why I continue to talk about it. Okay, back to vitamin D. Vitamin D is also very important for your hair growth because it helps the cycle of hair growth. Meat products help because not only do they have the best source of collagen, also have zinc and niacin, also ingredients that we need for healthy hair growth. And I was reading this morning that the number one reasons for hair loss can be lack of fatty acids and lack of protein. Now, I just was mentioning before that there's different ways to get your protein, but I was watching several doctors because I wanted to kind of backtrack that and see what the best source of proteins were, and it is the egg. 
the entire egg, not just the egg whites, but the egg yolk. Matter of fact, John and I just had eggs and bacon this morning. I did switch over to the good bacon. Is it nitrate-free bacon? And we were just talking about it. If we thought it was just as good as our other bacon, and we decided it's about 90% as good. It doesn't get quite as crisp for us, which John cooks our eggs and our bacon on our grill. What is it? A Blackstone grill. That's what we cook everything on. So eggs are just such a good source of protein, of lysine, of all of those good fatty acids. Another thing I want you to remember is a lot of times when they are talking about cholesterol and cholesterol being bad, you have to think about what cholesterol are they speaking of? Because if they're talking about the omega-6 cholesterol and fatty acids that are in your canola oil and your all of the vegetable oils, those are the ones, those are the bad oils. Those are the oils that cause plaque in your arteries. Those are the oils that block your receptors. So you just have to take a little time and dig into what they're talking about. A lot of times they're just not telling you the whole story. And, you know, I feel kind of weird sitting here talking about it because I don't know a lot about all of these things. It's kind of like I have had the benefits and now I'm backtracking to figure out how did I get these benefits and every one of them lead back to the way that I eat. Your nails, pretty much the same thing. You need good healthy fats, you need protein, you need vitamin D, you need all of those things. Your nails are right there with your hair. You need a lot of the same vitamins, fatty acids, all of those things and you need to not be eating and doing things that would block the good things from getting in. Okay, my skin. I was watching a plastic surgeon the other day and he was talking about collagen. Were collagen powders, were collagen products worth taking? He's not even a carnivore. I don't even think he's a carnivore. He's not someone who talks about carnivore, but he was saying the best, most easily absorbed collagen you can get is from your meat. I've so even skin, it goes back to just about the same things, but I wanted to tell you something interesting that I realized on my own, I had no inkling that this was a thing, but the past couple of years that I have been eating this way, I have been going, you know, we have a pool here right across the street and I live at the beach. So I am just, I guess I'm just a sun worshiper and I love being in the sun. There's to me, there's just no better feeling. Last year, I really noticed that I was not getting burnt ever. Like normally I would come back from a full day at the beach or a couple of hours at the pool and it's not that I wasn't getting tan, but I was never really experiencing a burn or the extreme redness or even just that little bit of redness that even if you're someone like me that you rarely burn, but you know that after three hours in the sun, you normally have just that little bit, I actually like it, that little bit of redness in your skin and then it will go away the next day or the next day and it turns that pecan tan. So I started to read about it and to be sure, the carnivore diet helps you not get sunburnt. And it's because when you're eating these things like the bad seed oils, sugar, and all of the other things that cause inflammation, it also causes inflammation like to your or under your or in your skin, I'm not sure how to put it, and it causes you to get sunburned even easier. Here's something that's just amazing to me. Have you seen some of the before and afters of people with eczema? and psoriasis and all of these skin irritations and they've tried all of these medicines and then they get on the carnivore diet and within a month, three weeks, their whole face is cleared up. You have skin issues. If you have hair loss, if you are battling menopause symptoms, I invite you just to read about it. Just listen to people and watch their videos, see their before and afters. When I look back at photos of myself before I started this, it's not that I was very, very overweight. I did end up losing about 34 pounds altogether, but now I think I kind of went all the way down to 118 and I was there for a long time. 
and now I'm, I hang pretty steady at 122. So I think I'm about 30 pounds that I've kept off for about three years and I just, I'm just thriving. I'm just the happiest I think I've ever been. I'm just so grateful. I just love my life and I'm very um, thankful that I stumbled upon this way of eating and that's why I want to share it with you. Get in the sun. I know that, you know, there are just sunscreen fanatics out there and I'm not a sunscreen um, warrior either way. I think you should do what you think is best for you. But when you look back at society, you guys, even silly things like pictures of the beach, pictures of concerts, pictures of crowds of people in the 60s, in the 70s, there aren't just obese people everywhere. And back before we started battling these things, people were a lot healthier, happier, and on much, much less medication. So I hope that this inspired you to read up on how the carnivore benefits your entire body, certainly how it benefits your hair, your nails, your skin. If you're new to my channel, thank you for being here. I tried to make my carnivore update videos at least once a month, and I just try to share my experience and things that I think can help women my age older, younger men, and I try to share my progress and my enthusiasm, and all I want to do is just put that little spark of curiosity, do your own investigation, and I really don't think it would hurt for you just to try it for a couple of weeks and just see how you feel. And for my outfit of the day, I dressed up for you guys. Chanel's here on the sofa with me. Here. Say hey, Nene. And I wanted to show you this jumpsuit. It's not very expensive. It comes in black, and I think it is a beautiful jumpsuit for any special occasion that you may have coming up. A wedding, a shower, a reception, a, a convention, a date night out with your husband. Suit. I would not be able to wear this if I did not feel good about my weight, if I didn't feel confident, if I didn't feel good about my skin, if I didn't feel good about my muscle tone. So this is just one of the advantages of getting healthy, getting your weight and your hormones under control. It will inspire you in every meaningful way of your life. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you real soon. Bye-bye.